Hey, 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 Lord J cutting the grass today. And I just wanted to say that I have a question with a trigger warning and a desire for feedback only from those that actually have firsthand testimony in the question that I am asking based on my own personal experience and general curiosity whether it was unique to me or whether it's part of the insanity of the Hamilton's number one waterfall, which is what I call West Fifth, the mood disorders program in Hamilton where this day, three years ago, I got locked up. Papa wanted the mail, so I'm doing for him what he's asked me to do and now I would love for you to tell me if you have stayed in the mood disorders program either voluntarily or involuntarily. I was stuck in a two-week involuntary hold under what is called a Form 3. And I know that there is, I didn't realize this until I got there and discovered it, there's actually an indefinite leave option. Is that not insane? I thought so. Anyway, whether you've been there voluntarily or involuntarily, what I would like to know is whether you were told about what I call the terror room. There were two of them, one to the left side of the nurse's station and then the other one was beside the living room area, which is across from the nurse's station, I do believe. And these two rooms were what I was told is where two patients are sent in order to work something out if there was a disagreement or dispute, which was pretty terrifying to boot when you realize that, you know, people with dysfunction mentally are in there and then you're expected to be stuck in a room with another that you don't know or trust. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying indeed. Um, so I call it the terror room because there was one day where there was a woman in there who was screaming when I went by and I was horrified because I didn't know what was happening to her in there and so I was told to just be quiet and walk by without saying anything and so I did but I couldn't hide the fact that I felt it was just totally wrong to leave her on her own when she was needing connection and so I banged on the door and I gave a voice to know she was not alone and interestingly I never experienced that again while I was there for those two weeks under that form three that I hadn't expected to be locked up under, but that is beside the point. There was another day within those first days also where two of the male patients uh, got into a dispute and then they were told to go into the other terror room, which I'm sure is not the name for it or what you were told it was to be. It was three years ago for me, so I'm just trying to just see whether anyone else had this experience of insanity or whether it was maybe just me, which I doubt, but you know, I don't know until I ask others who have actually been where I've been. So they went into that room. The one was a lifer, quote unquote, and uh, he was also said to have been a hitman with the Hells Angels, which was pretty terrifying, and the other had a crazy story too, naturally. And when they emerged, the one man proclaimed the other had raped him and nothing was done about it really and then we were all kind of sent to our rooms because of their dispute and then after that then everybody just was allowed to go out about it was evening then i do believe but it was just kind of like what anyway denials were made after that when i asked the man who had made that claim that i heard from down the hall because he didn't say it quietly and ultimately, I don't quite know who to trust in there when I was in there, so I didn't know who to trust in there. And in the scheme of things, how do we really know who to trust out here either? Unless we are willing to stand on the truth and share our truth and ask questions of those who have also experienced crazy things you just don't talk about because nobody's going to be able to relate except for those that do. And then you find out it's too late because they've been traumatized too. So I'm just curious and if you are willing to share your testimony uh, down below 
I appreciate this may sound insensitive because I'm asking it in a lighthearted, upbeat kind of way and it's a pretty traumatic experience. So if you have been victimized in that room or in that experience, uh, genuinely my heart goes out to you and you didn't deserve that. You deserved so much better and ultimately the system is designed to break spirits, I do believe. And so if yours was part of that terrorism, then I am entirely sorry for you and also would love to be able to just help you reframe it to see that everything happens for us in this life even the insanity because then we have the opportunity to see what others would deny except for we lived and say mm, can't hide the truth once you've actually faced the beast so that's why I asked this question and if you don't want to comment down below I understand that and if you want to send me an email with your testimony I don't know what I can do specifically other than pray for you um, but you can do so at laura at ljeh.ca and I will take the time to read your message though um, oftentimes when we share such stories it's part of our own therapy without letting the rapist actually <laughs> victimize us by having us stay stuck in a story that doesn't serve us because our power is either in there or in the present but it can't be in both places which is why I don't believe that therapy is the best thing for us though it is a great tool until we know how to actually console ourselves and connect with the soul and consciousness to no longer be trolled but that's besides the point. No disrespect meant to those acting as therapists for many who do have their heart in the right place and we are all living in a crazy and dangerous place until we see how titles, statuses and personages have been used to trap us in traps of all forms. I just happen to have gotten trapped in the form three and today, three years ago, I was transferred to the place where I was then held unwillingly for two and a half weeks. So yeah, that was my experience then and I am curious of when yours was and whether you were told about this terror room too or whether that was just me. Don't know until you ask. That's why asking is how you stand as king in the present present moment, which is now. Always is, always will be, unless we stay in our mind, which is the trap. So back into the heart, baby.